Hi guys, this is Umair back with another video and in this video I'll be talking about PrestaShop that is a PHP framework for creating e-commerce websites. We have other frameworks like WooCommerce that is based upon WordPress, we have a Joomla, we have Drupal, but PrestaShop have some unique features that makes it very popular for the couple of years. Uh, PrestaShop has a very big stock management system. It is very easy to use. It is very user friendly as compared to other frameworks. We have a WooCommerce in WordPress. Uh, that is the module of WordPress. In WooCommerce, uh, we can create a subscription website. We can create a services related websites like uh, Linda, Udemy, uh, or we can also create the e-commerce website but uh, I would recommend you if you want to create an e-commerce website that has a very big number of products like 10,000 or plus products you want to create your store then you should go for PrestaShop because it has a really good stock management system but if your store has a less number of products like uh, 200, 300 or maximum 1000 then uh, WooCommerce is pretty good but PrestaShop is developing itself and it is very easy to use and it is gaining its popularity. So let's get started uh, and create our e-commerce website and let's see what are the key features uh, of PrestaShop, how to create categories, products and attributes and different combinations. So I have opened the link of the PrestaShop uh, from where I can download the PrestaShop so you can uh, go to that link prestashop.com slash en slash download and you just need to click on start now if you want to give an email address for the uh, notifications then you can give it uh, right here uh, if you don't want then don't write anything just click on download it will download in your system so one once it is downloaded uh, you will say it in the I have downloaded it already and I have this folder right here that is in zip but before that uh, I want to show you how to install PrestaShop locally because uh, I don't have a, a, a hosting just for uh, explaining you guys uh, so uh, if you want to install and test it out rather than putting it on the uh, global hosting. Uh, then you should download XAMPP or a WAMP. I have downloaded XAMPP. So what you need to do is download and install it with the default settings and click on Start Apache and start MySQL. Uh, so wait for it until it doesn't start. So both of these uh, technologies have started. Now if I go to my browser and right here I need to go to localhost slash php my admin slash okay so if your apache and mysql is running it should open up an interface for managing your uh, php or mysql databases okay so these are the default databases that are already created in my php my admin if i click on the databases and for the PrestaShop installation, we need to have a database. So for that, uh, I'm going to create a new database and I'm going to name it PrestaShop underscore DB and keep it collision and click on create. And that DB has been created. You can see on the left side, this is the DB that has been created. It has nothing. But if when we will install the PrestaShop, it will have bunch of tables uh, added with uh, by the Presto shop okay so once it is done uh, you must see this in the C directory this is the default settings uh, XAMPP and open up the htdocs folder and inside this folder right click and create a new folder and I'm going to name it Presto shop Okay, all the websites that you want to test it or install locally, you need to uh, add a new folder within the HD Docs folder and uh, you can install your website within this folder. So I'm going to install that PrestaShop website within this PrestaShop folder. Okay, so I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to right click and extract it and uh, I'm going to copy these files and folders and go to C, XAMPP, HTDocs, PrestaShop and paste it. Okay, once it is pasted, go to browser, localhost, 
forward slash and name of that folder. So I will write Presta shop. So it will open up an interface. It's going to initializing all the settings and configuration that are required for installing our Presta shop. So let's wait for it. So the configuration has been done. Now we need to follow these instructions and uh, add few information to this. So first of all, add the language English. So I'll click on next. And our first setup is completed. Now we need to add the license agreements. So in the license agreement, just if you want to read it, you can read it uh, or just click on this checkbox and click on next. And after that, we need to give the system compatibility. So if you are looking these uh, warnings, just ignore these and click on next. It will not create any problem. So from here, we need to write the name of our store. So my, uh, let's say electronics. Okay. And main activity is computer hardware and software country is mine country is Pakistan and first name let's add first name and after that let's add last name and right here I'm going to add my email address so this is my email address and let's add the password so you need to give these appropriate information right here and I'll click on next so in the server address if you are using an external server a uh, global server then you need to give the host name right here but I'm using the local host so I will write local host right here and the database name is that I added right here and that is prestashop underscore db so prestashop underscore db and keep the database login password and the table prefixes as it is and click on next and it's going to uh, follow these instructions and add up and create our website. So wait for it until it loads up. So once the installation is complete, first of all, you need to go to your installation folder that is htdocs and prestashop and delete this install folder. So once it gets deleted just click on front office to see the front end of your website it will have a default products that will be added by presto shop so if you want to open up your admin view just click on the back office and it will open up the back view so this is the front end of your website it has a default category that is a woman it has subcategories tops and dresses and under these subcategories we have the uh, further categories okay and all these categories have these seven uh, products okay if I click on this it will have a detailed page with the further uh, settings we have the blouse and it has a summary we can select the color and add to cart and it has a description and product details and these are called the attributes okay so if we want to go to the back office we need to give our email address that we set while the installation and we need to give the password so click log in in order to log in to the back end of your website just click back so this is the dashboard uh, that looks like this it is pretty easy to use and very uh, user friendly so you can see on the left side we have the orders tab we have the catalog tab we have the customer tag uh, and we have further things we can set the multi store functionality in Presta shop and that is uh, not pretty good in 
uh, WooCommerce that is the plugin of WordPress but in PrestaShop it is very powerful to create a multi store okay and again it has a very powerful uh, stock management system so for this video that's pretty much it in the next video of this PrestaShop tutorial I'll be giving you an overview of uh, few common things that is the categories products attributes and features brand and suppliers and how to create uh, individual things like categories and products and how to import all these things uh, from our excel file if we have a data in our excel file then how we can import that so that is very important for us to learn and i'll be giving you an overview of these uh, options uh, how we can install modules, how we can install the theme in PrestaShop and how we can set the shipping and the payment options inside PrestaShop. So stay tuned and thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe this channel and like this video. Comment below if you have any question. Thanks.